It's time now for baseball from the great state of Texas and Globe Life Patch-Up of the... Noah Syndergaard gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty, he we're getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struck ball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. So I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some goals. You can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Slow little roller to third. McNeil is there. Throw on the first, take care of Maven, and there are two away. That is cold. The three and down for Cleveland, Jose okay. Ramirez. Hit sharply toward the right side. Mazzara will get there, and he puts it away to... Shane Bieber, a California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Yeah, Matt, his last start wasn't a particular... Last time out, they enter this one in good shape. Winners in seven of their last ten. Yeah, Matty. Dan, this team is playing well. They're getting closer in the division race. I, I guess my question to you, I, I want to ask you, did you find that you start to really get better, better as the summer months started good. to get hotter? No doubt about it. Not only does this team good. start, the game is more important. The bigger the game, hopefully the better you play. And this team's been playing some really good baseball lately. In the dirt here. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. There to play it is Castro, and he's got it. Look at the Rangers starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, you have to love the thump. The 0 2 once more. Lifted the other way out to left center. Naquin's on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. So that next to the plate for Texas, no Joe Easter year, leading in two of the three triple ground categories. Top five in RBIs. If he can improve on that, he has a legit shot to win the crown. Mercado is going to have room out there as he puts the pitcher is it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. And he'll step on first for the out three unassisted. That is it. Now with the plate, Starlin Castro, as he'll get. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. There's ball nope. four. Ball four. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. And this one's in the dirt. Now the 2-1. This is line to left. Gallo is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Stepping up now, Carlos Santana. Hit out towards second. Backhanded. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Striding forward now is the DH. This is on the ground over to first. Santana's got it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. That is it. The right fielder. In now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. 270 mark. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Naquin's on his horse. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. That is seven. The second baseman. So base. Hard on the ground toward short. Lindor gloves it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One. They are to play Bowers. behind them on defense instead of facing them in the batter's box. Keep us in every game, and they really work hard as a group to push each other to get better all the time. I really appreciate what they bring to this team. It sounds like a group that has earned a lot of respect around the league and from inside their own clubhouse. All right, Heidi, thank you. Batting done. Striding in for the Indians, Robinson Churi. Drilled to first. Bell scoops it up, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. Now batting. Oscar. Batty, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. 
kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for the and the throw to first is there. The inning is over. The catcher, Wilson. And that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. Ramirez is there, and that's the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting. Lined hard toward right center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. No balls and a strike. 0 for 1 here in the early. Softly hit down to third. Likely no shot at two. And the off balance throw beats him at first. And that's a tough play. So two on with two away. Ready with the 2-0. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Now he scales the wall here, and my goodness, he came down with it. An incredible catch that time as that's going to end the inning in style. Another look here as he goes up and over the wall. To Here's Cameron Maben now. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now that the third digging in to try it again. There with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. No one can make a play on this one. And the first Indians hit is going to be extra bases. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. And he's in there at third with a one out triple. Strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. He's in or hangs something over the heart of the plate. He's going to absolutely crush it. But anything going away from him goes right into his backpack. The tag, and he is out at the plate. And so much for our first run of the ball game. The batter number 13. In now, Starlin Castle. First pitch of the at bat. There's a drive out toward the alley in right center. Lindor rounds third and is digging for the plate. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Just some more of the same now from that. him. He's been clutch all year with Fire. runners in scoring position. Mm -hmm. Slider down and in. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of as a hitter. That hard breaking ball coming down and in at the back foot. A tough take on a good pitch. Yeah. Look to the pitcher covering as that will retire the sign. Here's Joey Gallo now. He's open. another full count pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him. So one away here with the base. Goodman. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strike. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of. And that one without a doubt is gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 33 on the year. And the Rangers have drawn even now at one apiece. And again now, Omar Mazzara. Bullet back up the middle. Mercado is there, two gone. The batter, Digging in, Willie Calhoun. Calhoun. First pitch of the at bat. On the ground to the left side. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. They know they're getting a lot of pitches down in the zone, so they either need. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. To first. Played on the backhand. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Jake Bowers. He lifted the other way to left center. And this is handled easily. So quickly two are gone here to start the fifth. 
Oh, Stepping into the box. Robinson Schurz right now. This guy's got a low pitch count. He's attacking his zone. They have to get more aggressive. This guy's not going anywhere. Rogers up the middle. Throw on to oh. Bell at first, and the side is retired. But still have zero well, hits to show for it in those situations. To short. Lindor fields it cleanly. And that's out number one. In is Gerardo Parra. He drew a base. First pitch on its way. Line drive to center field. A dive, but it's off his glove. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush tactics. Number First pitch fastball middle in. He's able to drive that. Hit hard on the ground to second. Oh, but they throw it away at second. And he's going to make it up to second base safely as he's in there. Oh, my word. Not shortstop. Ready for another Not shot really. now. The 1 1. Lined into right, a base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's now a 2 to 1 ball game. Upper base Upper Josh ball. Bell, the next to hit. Popped up. Go, go, go. Ramirez has a play. Yeah, Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So here's the cleanup hitter. Now Joe back. Count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Hit the other way out toward right field. Mazzara's on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The right fielder, number six. Ready for another chance. Cameron. Grounded back up the middle. Calhoun ranging up the middle. Throw on to first, takes care of Maven, and there are two away. Oh, that's for Cleveland. Digging in and looking for more. For Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016. Just absolutely set that lineup on fire. And the throw is in time to get him to retire. Next will be the designated. Exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. And that is Byam on into center field, so good hitting on 0-2 nets him a leadoff single. And he will make it up to second as he advances on the throwing miscue. My right goodness. Fielder, number 30. No Here comes the Indians manager to make that slow right. trip to the mound. Ladies and gentlemen. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it. Now the three and two pitch, and he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. The one one home. Line drive base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded. Here's the catcher Wilson Ramos. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's now three to one. The center fielder, number eight. Settling in now, Gerardo oh, Parra scoring. Yeah, and just another simple single to the outfield would be a big number. And the Jeff McNeil. Now another 0 2. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Castro has it. The second for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. So coming to the plate, Brendan. The guy in the batter's box. To third. Throw on to first, and an important pitch there as they get. 
Now it's the all-world all-star shortstop Francisco in the Francisco. inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Hey, excellent job right there, leading off the inning with a base hit. We got to keep this line moving. We cannot stop. That's a little bit. A bullet to first base, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. So a runner at first now with one away. Hard hit toward the hole and just past his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. I think the whole ballpark knew he was going to go with the sinker right there to now induce better. the double play. The, the only baseball. problem is, is he can't oh, guarantee it's going to be aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on. But right here, he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead yeah. in the count now. And he'll just step on first here to take the shoe out. Here now is Jake Bowers. Designated hit. Four to one, our score to this point. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. One run is in. Throw comes to second. And he is in to second base with a two-run double. Well, maybe the now tables that's... have turned a bit that's... earlier in the game, Bump but the pitcher had his... Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Heading out towards shallow right. Mazar is under it. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the time. Darren O'Day gets the call from the now pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Number 56, Darren. Josh Bell. The 2-0. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. The left fielder. Next to Bell. Gallo swings, and this one is crushed out to right field. And it's gone as they add still another. Big Joey Gallo leaves the yard, and it's now 5-3. to three. And this is looking ball 1-1-0. One, one oh. So far, the 2-2. Two, two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. The right fielder, and this might be 30. the kind of A.B. that gets Go him ball. out of that slump. Smart hit. Now the 0-1. And look out as that one ran in and got him. So striding in. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Lindor onto the grass. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second now, now. out. Hector. So there. stepping in. A lot of damage with. Got to be careful doing that. The 0-1. Line drive snagged on a short hop. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. Mike Dunn has been summoned from the now bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 39. Leading off Mike. the inning, Oscar. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Popped up. Bell moving to his left. One out. The right fielder, number six. Digging in. Cameron, Cameron. Mapes. First pitch on its way. Hit to third. And that's the second out. Now Ready now, Jose Ramirez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center. And this one will bounce into the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Pedro Baez enters the game out of the bullpen now, and this will force the up. Swung out and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Nick Goody is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Coming to the plate now, Gerardo. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit in the air to straightaway center. 
Mercado has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Now Jeff McNeil will be 15. the next. To Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Nick Wooden's under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now that is good stop. At the plate, Brendan, Brendan Rock. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And that one is gone. Shot here to left, number 22 on the year, and it's now six to three. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the a swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So the Rangers add on thanks to this solo home run. Jose Leclerc comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. At the plate, Tyler Naquin. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Line towards center field, and he'll make the catch on the run as he reaches down to Spirit for the second out. Digging in the switch hitter. The 1-1 home. Slapped hard the opposite way. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there. And that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. And tonight's comes to an end. 6-3 the final. The Texas Rangers the use the nice fifth inning to take ballgame. the lead. And they never gave For it back. Rangers, Noah Syndergaard runs, earns a league hit. best 17th no victory. For the show. With you. Inside the show. Your host, Justin Allegri. Hi, I'm Justin Allegri, and this is your Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Starting out west in the American League, Mike Miner got his 16th win this year as Texas downed Cleveland 6-1. to He is among the AL leaders in wins. The Oakland Athletics combined for 10 hits as a team as they took down the Yankees in the Bronx. Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Hello there, baseball fans. Let's recap what went down around the league on Wednesday. Starting in the AL West, the Cleveland Indians had 12 hits as a team as they got the win in a laugher against the Rangers, 8-2. The Yankees combined for a four-hitter as they grabbed the win against the visiting Athletics, 2-0. In other Yankees news, left fielder Giancarlo Stanton... Inside the show, with your host, Justin Allegri. TGIF, and welcome to Inside the Show. Starting out west in the American League, the Rangers racked up 11 hits as a team as they bested the visiting Indians 5-3. C.J. Crone had a big day offensively, collecting three hits and driving in three, helping Minnesota take care of the Mariners 6-4. Also in Mariners news, catcher Rafael Mer.